lived here a very long time. This is where all my pals are, my family, my good friends, so makes it nice. Well, let's talk about the changes in the arts, because that's mostly what I've been involved in. Um, when we started Art of the Green all those years ago, it's, uh, we started that in 68, and at that time there wasn't much going on, and we started it to get more art available in the community and to help artists. That was our goal, was to help artists so they could make a living and stay in this community. And that's, to me, it's very important that an artist be able to survive because a community's health depends so much on the arts and having artists. So that's why we did that. And over the years, that has really grown. And as a result of that, there's a lot more support for the arts in the community than there. It's just now part of what our community does to define itself, is support of the arts, which I think is great. To have a healthy community, you have to have healthy arts, and you have to have healthy families, and you have to have peace. So my other work focuses um, through the law and my work as a mediator, and we have a nonprofit corporation here in Coeur d'Alene called the Conflict Resolution Center of the Inland Northwest Incorporated. And we do a lot of multidisciplinary education for the well-being and peace of families who are restructuring through uh, divorce. But we want, uh, there are many unmarried families as well, and we want peace for these children because it's very important for them, for the family, and for our, our culture. So I do a lot of work uh, with that way. We started the efforts toward mediation in 1988, and I've always worked with a visionary judge in Boise, Idaho, named Patricia Young. Now, almost every case in the whole court system of the state of Idaho will be asked, is mediation appropriate, and recommend that, that people go to mediation. So it's been a tremendous change in mindset especially in family cases, but also all the, all the litigation. They're even starting now to do mediation in criminal cases, which is wonderful. You're talking restorative justice, you know, which I think is very important and it's a very good thing. You, you want to start with your families and prevent the crimes from being part of a mentality, but once there is a system, you don't want to throw your people away. You want them to be integrated back into the culture. So. Very important. As we look to the future about the arts in, in our community, and my particular interest is the focus on art in the green, um, it has evolved through careful thinking, through the integrity of everybody who's involved in it. Uh, we've had the education program, with, which is our art shop program, so that children were able to participate, and that's been 28 years now. So there's a mentality of supporting the arts. And I think as we think to the future, we have to continue to affirm and support the arts because they're so integral to our overall health. So the more, the more we concentrate and, and make the arts available, the healthier the community will be. And the happier the people will be, of course. Of course. <laughs>